Guatemala is the most dangerous country in the world for trade unionists. Union members and their families are being attacked and assassinated for exposing corruption and for demanding fair wages and working conditions. Nosotros, eh, como dirigentes, habíamos tenido amenazas de muerte. Estaba sentada en una silla, nos separaba con, con el abogado. Cuando llegó el, el, que, el, que, el asesino. As union leaders, we'd received death threats. I was sitting at a table next to my lawyer when the assassin arrived. He killed my lawyer. When he came in, I hid. Then I suddenly felt that my back was burning from the bullets. In March last year, my daughter was kidnapped, tortured, and then they shot her, aiming at her temple. Thank God she turned at that exact moment and it only hit her eye. The assassinations in Guatemala are a difficult memory for this meeting because I'm talking about people who were seated in this room and at this table. We are talking about our brothers and sisters who gave the most precious thing they had, their lives, in order that we could be here. They assassinated our colleague and friend Carlos Hernández. They also killed our brother Ovidio in the campaign to repress unions. Guatemala is one of the countries where there is no protection for union leaders. We demand that Otto Pérez Molina government establish freedom of association. Many of our comrades from the Frente Nacional de Lucha have been killed, and we demand an explanation for their deaths. Public Services International has launched a major solidarity campaign. The mission has been very important, first of all, because we could uh, uh, get uh, all the information that we needed about uh, how serious the situation is uh, in uh, Guatemala. We met many authorities, the Vice Minister of Interior, the President of the Commission of the Congress on Health. We are meeting with the, the Minister of Labor and the President of the Republic. We cannot imagine a social or an economic development without putting an end to impunity, without making sure that the criminal who assassinate trade unionists in the country can uh, be uh, prosecuted. In the end, it's the patient's health that's jeopardized. And when health workers have ideas to improve the patient's health conditions, we get targeted and pursued as if the union was in the wrong. Can't they see that the union is protecting our patients' lives and health? The hospital building works are still unfinished, with dirt floors, with the water system collapsed, and the hospital didn't even have basic supplies. People were ashamed to go into the hospital. The Medical Association finally identified 42 hospitals in the country in similar conditions. Our hospital is poor and has limited resources. The pharmacy is open only in the morning and the afternoon. It's closed at night. Everyone in the hospital gets the same food, even though we have patients with diabetes. We struggle to get sugar-free food for diabetics and salt-free food for patients with high blood pressure. He needs to be in a semi-upright sitting position due to his respiratory issues. He can't lie comfortably because the bed dips in the middle. Yo tengo que atender 22 pacientes. 22 pacientes dependientes de enfermería donde necesitan el 100% del cuidado. I have to take care of 22 patients who need high level care. According to health indicators, to be able to attend to their needs properly, there should be one nursing staff for every five patients. We are two nurses, assisting 54 to 56 patients. Pero lamentablemente el Ministerio de Salud tiene más o menos un año de haber entrado en una etapa de represión y persecución sindical. Regrettably, the Ministry of Health has entered a stage of repression and persecution. I appreciate having this opportunity to speak. We've presented various complaints. We've been victims of discrimination, workplace harassment and anti-union repression. 
The complaints have been presented to law enforcement agencies, but none of them have ever been resolved. My experience over the past year is that I've been targeted for being a union leader. The director of the health region has started a dismissal process against me. The first thing that struck me here is the problem of impunity, the problem of these attacks against unions and especially against the Health Workers Union in Guatemala. It's very important for us that the president has acknowledged that it's a national shame for Guatemala to be the country where the most trade unionists are killed in the world. The Minister of the Interior, the Minister of Labour and the President of the Republic have committed to putting into place more in-depth investigation processes that will result in sentences against those responsible for planning and carrying out the killings. It's going to be very, very important for uh, our unions in the United States to um, become strong in speaking to our government about our uh, trade agreements and other relationships here so that uh, we can tell them that, that uh, they need to use those agreements to ensure the safety of the workers in Guatemala. Mientras no se acepte al movimiento sindical. As long as we don't accept the union movement as being part of developing democracy, the country will be held back in both democracy and human rights. We've worked hard by the sweat of our brow. They've robbed the money for programs and have left health care centers in poverty.